Yo, what's happening, guys? It's your boy, Eddie Clutch, and we back at it again on the Clutch Time Podcast. And I got with me my boy, Ziggy Nash in the cut. And uh, we're just going to be chilling, talking about crazy shit, you know? You know, I mean, we, we were just doing our own little thing. And then as soon as I said, we got to figure out when Smooth's pulling up, Smooth pulls the fuck up. You know, I'm like, I was sitting here like, damn, Smooth actually pulled up, like, on time when I was saying, yo, let's see what he's going to pull up. Like, Night yo, shining I'm like, armor. I'm like, yo, check your phone to see when Smooth's going to pull up. He's gonna, supposed to pull up soon. Hey, Smooth, what's up? <laughs> got it all on video on, on record. So I'm like, hopefully we save that uh, audio too. But um, yeah, nah, so uh, ah, fuck, let's just start it back up. Like, fuck, like, man, I was... Man, fantasy football, bro. We have our so for those of y'all that don't know, we had a I I I I have a bunch of fantasy football leagues, you know, and they're all for money. So it's like you know, I'm like you know what, it's with different people. It's with people from here at school, people from like you know when I do music and you know different other leagues and shit. It's like it's you know when I do my fantasy leagues, I take that shit seriously, especially because money's involved. And I'm like you know what. Some of these leagues, I'm putting up like a hundred dollars. One of the leagues, like two fifty, and it's like we're very, very competitive in that. But you know, when people say they don't do it for the money, they do it for like the the passion. That's when I was like, you know what? This year, I want to make a separate league with eight of some of my closest friends and do a fucking podcast. That not a podcast, a, a fantasy football league with like eight of my closest friends. And just do some fuck shit. Like, you know, just like... And I felt like that would be a great idea. So I, I texted everybody. I texted you. I texted... I texted Smooth. Smooth Smooth knows nothing about football. So he's like, I'm not going to be in it. I'm like, you know what? And that's why I was like, you know what? Let this be a free league. Because I'm like, you know what? Let's just have some fun with it. Let, let it be a passionate league. So... I feel like when I did a... When I did my fantasy league, I was like, you know what? Let's just get this shit popping. And, you know... Right off the bat, I started off 2-0. and I'm like, we're good. And then I play this fucking asshole week three. And the last play of the game, this man gets a catch. It was the Steelers game. It was Steelers-Raiders. Uh, this Not man. That. Yeah, it was. Uh, this <clears throat> yeah. Devontae put up. <laughs> Devontae put I need. Points. I was up by 50 points, bro. You put up 45. You put I up 40. Had, and you got Friar Muth, man. Friar This man puts up all that shit on me, bro. I'm fucking screaming in the <laughs> chat. Fuck you! Fuck! Because I, I, I wanted my persona to be in this chat like, to be very, very, like, crazy. So I'm like, yo, like, fuck this shit. So I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Like, I'm so mad. So then I, week, I win week four. So then week five comes along. We have this guy named Steven in our chat. He's one of my boys from Duval. You know, like, you know, we 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 known each other for years. And this man did not want to do it on an ESPN league. He's like, I want to do it on Yahoo or this other app. And I'm like... We do an ESPN. Everyone voted. He's like, so this motherfucker decides to draft the whole fucking Jaguars roster on his team. So <laughs> it's week five. And I'm like, okay, free win. This motherfucker beat me by 10. This was the one game that the Jags decide, hey, let me put up numbers on the fucking board. Let's see. Trevor had like 20 something points. ETN had like 30. Ridley went off. Kirk did good. Zay Jones, his flex had a touchdown. They're in fucking London. It's 9.30 in the morning. I'm like, shit. I mean, 100 and 115 points. I think I could beat that. I got CMC, all this other shit. I lost. CMC needed to run for a touchdown at the one-yard line, and I won. He got stuffed up on first down. I'm thinking second down. Yeah, we're going to get it. Play action. They throw it to the fucking fullback. The fullback. And I lost. Then I lose to Jack. I beat B Dev. We're not, we're, we're not even gonna talk about B Dev. We're gonna get on, get to him later. His fat ass, bro. Then I beat I beat I beat I think I beat everyone at least one. I, I beat Dane by 0.1 points. Fucking CMC got that 30 yard fucking touchdown against the Vikings. I fucking was going nuts. We won that game. And then of course played you again. I was I was up by 30 again. Another another Raiders game. Fucking fucking asshole. Fucking asshole. Dev- yeah, Devontae. There, there, there was two games Devontae had good games in. All the games he had like single digits. Bro had 45 and he had like 30. And those two games I played him in. I'm sitting here going, the fuck, bro? I was like, yeah, I'm going to win. I'm going to win. And then 
And then, of course, then I play uh, Jack. Jack beats me. Then Marin beats me. And then, you know, play B-Dev. I was supposed to win. Fucking Panthers kicker runs into the Dallas punt. No, it was a special teamers on the Panthers. Runs into the Dallas kicker. Then they got a penalty. Adam Thielen catches five passes on the drive for 40 yards. Nine points by him. Then at the end of the drive, a pick six happens for Dallas. He had the Dallas defense. He scored 20 points on that drive. If you didn't run into the kicker, I would have won that game. My fucking luck all year. I lose to a guy with an all Jags team. I lose to fucking because of a guy running to the kicker. I lose to because Devonta had two good games. Who else in the league? I beat Mafia twice. No, I didn't play. I play Mafia. No, I, I beat Mafia twice. Mafia's the one guy in that group. He's the most quietest guy. He was, the, he was just the one chill guy in the group. Everyone else is all fucking hands on loose. We had the Jack and Marin beef the whole season, bro. That shit was great. I was in the middle of that all year. So Jack and Marin, bro. Y- y'all know Jack. He was on the last episode. And Marin, we'll get into her later. Um, but you know, we're we're in the we're in the league and they just fought the whole season. They were cursing each other out. They were, she was looking at me like, Annie, you should stick up for me. I'm like, I don't know. What do you, what do you want me to do? It's like, a, I, conversation. I'll see my, I'll see my exactly. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Like, <laughs> and then of course you got Dane, who of course was trying to fucking, you know what? I can go off on every one of you motherfuckers in the league right now if I really wanted to. Shit, fucking. I mean, the three people in the fucking playoffs, I mean, if we just put three of y'all on the fucking elevator right now, the, the, you exceed the weight limit. You're fat ass, Jack's fat ass, and B-Dev's a humormous fucking fat ass. All in one fucking elevator. Damn, Marin wouldn't even fit in the fucking elevator. My God, I trust Ray Rice in an elevator more than you three. Jay-Z. Remember Jay-Z incident in the elevator? Yeah, trust them motherfuckers. Exactly. She could be Beyonce's sister. I don't even know what I, I, All I know is that Jay-Z was in an elevator and there was a fight. <laughs> she slapped the fuck out of him. Crazy. You never saw that video? I, I think I saw it like once. I saw it in Family Guy, actually. <laughs> no, you know what's crazy? Yeah, that, they, they redid it. <laughs> I know. Everything Everything that I learned, used to learn about back in like, like t- 2000s pop culture was always because of Family Guy. It was just like... So yeah, I guess Marin would slap the shit out of fucking Jack. Because, you know, but I want, dude, I should have, I should have, I benched my fucking kicker. I should have beat Jack last week, but I benched my kicker because I'm like, you know what? I want to lose on purpose. There's no way. So here's a scenario. I need one win and I'm in. Or I need Ziggy to lose out. Ziggy wins both games. And I lose both games. He's in the playoffs and I'm out the playoffs now. My team is stacked. I have a stacked ass team. And they none of them went off. My bench went off because I decided to trade for Kittle. I said, you know what? I should have waited till the playoffs to trade for Kittle. I should have used Ingram this week. I said, you know what? Let me use Ingram. You know, I was like, you know what? Trevor maybe out for the year. Boom. What the fuck happens? 33 points. And then Gibbs had 17. Like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? This whole fucking year, bro. I'd go, I'd go crazy. I'm in class, bro. Making up all these different scenarios, all these trade different things. Dude, I spent three hours just on this league one time coming up with trade ideas. Three hours of my life, bro. For me not even to make the fucking playoffs, bro. What is this? The 2011 Eagles dream team, bro? Like, what the fuck? (laughs) What the actual fuck? I lose to a guy with, I mean, here's the thing. I get it. Beat that. I beat that. He had one loss all year. I beat him by 80. Beat this motherfucker by 80, bro. He doesn't have any losses the rest of the year, bro. This motherfucker, bro, gets lucky every fucking week, bro. He was like, oh, yeah. Everyone bet. Yeah, Jack should have won. You should have beaten him. And, and you know what it was? Because y'all forgot to put in your flexes and you had zero points on the one flex. I was like, whoo, that shit got me pissed off, bro. And then he no, just when gets- I played him, my flex got hurt. Yeah. That's what happened. And I lost by like five. I know. You, he gets lucky. That's the thing. Like, I wanted to play him. Like, I, like Marin, I would not have wanted to play it in the playoffs the first round. I mean, I could have because then, like, you know, with B-Dev, it could have been, like, week 18. I'm like, I'm like you know, let me play B-Dev at least. I and then mean, this week, you had CMC, who had that 75-yard run. And he fucking gets stopped at the five-yard line. And gets stopped at the five, and they put the back. They put the, back. Yeah, I screamed. Uh, I, I sent the video to the chat. I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? And it had, what, 140 yards yesterday? No yeah, touchdowns. no touchdowns. No touchdowns, bro. 
Uh, you know what it was? I could have beaten. Who was it? I should have beaten. I lost by f- uh, five points. I wrote in the I wrote in the group chat. I was like, dude, it would be great if the Jags stopped CMC's touchdown streak because if he would have gotten a touchdown against the Jags, he would have broken the record. He didn't break the record because of our defense. I was so happy, and then I realized I was like, shit, I could have won that game if he would have scored a touchdown. I was like, bro, like, be careful what I wish for, bro. But shit, fucking Dane. Let's get let's just get started on Dane. Let's see if he wants to if he is in here, bro. Jack says he's not pulling up. Jack's all mad at me for some reason. I don't know why he's mad at me. He's probably mad because I don't know why. Dane, Dane's probably sleeping. He's active three hours ago. Story of his life. Bro's never fucking active. We had, to, we had to delay the fantasy draft because of this motherfucker. I'm like, bro, join the chat. And when I get home from work, doesn't do it. We have to, do, we have to wait till the next day to do the fantasy fucking draft because of him. I'm sitting here going, what the actual fuck? Because of this motherfucker. I did my draft in my car. I was driving to my girl's house. Exactly. I was on Route 18 drafting. I had, dude, did you see my setup, bro? I had a, I had the draft on an 80 inch fucking 4K flat screen, bro. I had all chips and dips out. I had my own little fantasy party, like, in, by myself. I looked like fucking one of those, remember when they did the, uh, the virtual drafts? Yeah. <laughs> That's literally what it was. <laughs> literally what it was. I recorded my, I was on, I was in a group call. It was me, Jack. I think like two other people joined. It was just all of us in the fucking thing. But well, that draft fucked me over. You know what it was? I, I drafted because I knew I could have traded for CMC. And I was like, I, I traded for CMC. I'm so happy. I should have done the... It was Jay Jettas and CMC for Tyreek. I should have fucking done it. But... Tyreek is not. I know, bro. Dude, if I ever have kids, bro, he's going to... He, we're sending him to Tyreek Hill daycare, bro. Like, really, bro. You can send my fucking baby mama there, too. He'll beat both of them, you know? <laughs> yeah. so I'm surprised he never got in trouble for that shit, bro. You remember what happened to that? He beat his wife and kid. <laughs> yeah. I was like, bro, we're sending mom said straight up, Tyree killed daycare. You Kareem know? Hunt's out here kicking people. Yeah, Kareem, yeah, fucking got a touchdown yesterday for against the Jags. Fucking bullshit. Fucking hate the damn Jags, bro. She got me tight, bro. I was like, like, what the fuck? Like, what the actual fuck, bro? Let's see. Let, 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 let's go down this list of all these people I could trash talk in this league right now. I'm about to see this shit, bro. I'm trying not to get canceled because Smooth don't cut shit out. I'm about to be mad at that shit. Yeah, two people left. Jack left. So if Jack doesn't come back by the end of the night, I'm still in the playoffs. I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm reseeding. And Dane was like, you can't reseed. Like, where the fuck's Jack going to be? He's not here. He don't deserve to be in the playoffs. And you know what we do? Between me and you, we can each take like one or two players from his team just to be nice. Steal from that motherfucker. You know what? He doesn't want to be in here. He wants to be dicking around, all pissed off and shit. Fuck him. We're taking players from him. The two lower seeds can take players. The two higher seeds, they're cool with what they got. They can, they could go suck a dick, both of them. Fuck both of them. Struggling. Str- we're struggling over here. Dude, I have to figure out the points. I'm gonna have to make you win by like a thousand against me because you're gonna have to have like more points than me because that's how the, the seeding was working. That's why I was saying if we would have if we would have had the same record, you know, it would have been. Yeah, because if you lose, we have the same record. But no, if I lose, if I lose, and you lose, I mean, dude, yeah, if I win, you lose. We you're going to win. Record. You're gonna, there's, no, there's no way. Jack has eight points. Eight. Eight fucking points. Dude, it's Monday Night Football, and he has eight points only. You have like 60. I'm like, shit, bro. Wait, so you're not joining back in the league? Because if he's not joining back in the league, we're in the playoffs, bro. You know what we should do? We should just have... We should just fuck up the seedings and just have Marin and Bidet play in the first round. That should be great. Nah. Yeah. Yeah, have us. <laughs> Dude, I want us to be in the finals, Yo, y- y- you and me, we both have a bye. <laughs> Dude, imagine if we're in the finals, bro. Like, if, if we... If you beat Marin and I beat Bidet, bro, and we're in the finals, bro. Dude, we're never releasing blame... Uh, fading away, bro. We're never... That song's never dropping, bro. I'm gonna be fucking... Because you're gonna somehow beat me in the playoffs, bro. Again, I'm gonna be like, I've been benching Devante. Besides the two times I played you, I think I think those were the only two times I played Devonte. Maybe like the first like two three weeks. Other than that, benched. If I play you in the yeah, finals, I'm playing. And, and then fucking Dane's bitch ass had to go and go. Oh yeah, I want to play eight eight can this week. I want to put this one in. Put this one in. He starts playing all these play. I'm like, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, yo. You know what? You know we've been boys for seven years. You know, you mind losing this game for me so I can in the playoffs? No, I want you to be eliminated. Fucking asshole. 
You're lucky you don't live in Watertown no more because I know where you live, bro. I drive five hours to see your bitch ass, bro. Your fucking hippie looking ass, bro. So let me tell you about Dane. So I met Dane like last year finally. For the first, I've known him for like seven years. I meet him for the first time. At the, he's at the Pony. This motherfucker walks out of the Pony because I couldn't get in. I wasn't 21 yet. And I couldn't get in. It was 21 plus. And so Dane walks out and he couldn't get back in. Motherfucker just got in there, spent $20 on a ticket. He got he couldn't get back in, no re-entry. I was laughing. I felt so bad for this one. I was gonna pay for this thing. That's why I said in the chat, I'm like, next time I'm paying for you, bro. I'm like, yeah, next time I got you with a with a fucking ticket to whatever show you want. I didn't get kicked out of it. You yeah, you didn't. You left. He goes, I didn't get kicked out. I'm like, you left. I hope he leaves now. Not gonna lie, bro. Yeah, we should have Jack pull up right here right now and just plead his case. Like, like we'd be like the like the uh, the the judge and jury. Jack, why 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 do you think you should stay in the fantasy league? <laughs> because I beat you twice. <laughs> Fucking asshole, bro. Dude, I can't believe, bro. He's nine and five. This man was never good at fantasy. He's nine and five. How am I? How did I get six and eight, bro? I'm fucking right, I'm right there, bro. Dude, I how the even, fuck did dude. I get? Like, how did I get eliminated from this? I'm fucking. Li- I was screaming at everyone last night. I was like, "Do the day and night shaker." Sh- B Dev, shut your bitch ass up, yo. B Dev, when you wrestle as your little Gordy Rattler or whatever fucking molestation name you want to use for your fucking weird ass fake wrestling name, uh, I hope you. You drop from like a building or something onto the thing on the mat and you fucking break your neck and you get paralyzed and you die, bro. I fucking hate your bitch ass, bro. Dude, you want to know something crazy? B-Dev is a fat autistic kid. We're losing the league to a fat autistic kid who went 13 and 1. And in second place is a girl. We're losing to that. You know, I heard a fact that all special needs kids are very good at one thing. Maybe this is just one thing. I thought it would be like molesting little boys or something like. Well, you could go in that direction. Uh, I feel like Gordy Rattler. That kind of sounds like a kind of kind of sounds like a porn name, you know, like like a gay porn name. Like, you know, Gordy rattles me different. You know what I mean? Like, it's like the rattler. Rattler. Yeah, the rattler. You know, like the little babies they play with the rattler, the (laughs) rattlers. Yeah, and they instead of an actual actual rattler, they 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 yeah, dude, we weren't trying to say that right away, bro. We're trying to, like, use some context for the audience. Keep it PG. Straight up. It's his dick, bro. You have to do that. Hey, we rattle something. You know, it sounds funnier when I'm making the movement, too. You're rattling something. But you just come up and you're just like, it's his dick. It's his dick. The rattler's his dick. The rattler's his dick. His what? peen. What? His peen. It's so funny. I thought you said you just peed. I'm like, nah. what the fuck? You peed on, on the fucking studio couch, bro? What is BDF saying? Are you doing it? <laughs> Dick so ball, <laughs> dick so oh, small. Hey, hey, I feel my balls. You and Mary hey, do a day and night sugar. Let me call this motherfucker, bro. If we get a B Dev, if we get B Dev on the podcast right now, this is gonna be funny as hell. Come on, B Dev, pick the fuck up, you fucking fat fuck. Yo, fat fuck. You're on the podcast right now. Everyone, B Dev's on our podcast. So we were just talking about how your 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 Gordy Rattler sounds like a gay mo. Look at this fat ass on the screen. I don't know if he's gonna zoom in. This man can't even fit on the fucking screen. He's so fucking fat, bro. Look at him. Look at him. Look at, him. Look at his fingers, bro. Well, his fingers look like fucking banana peels and shit. Like, what the fuck? Cancel a clutch. Can't cancel me, bro. So so one thing, bro. So we lost the league to a fat autistic kid. This was the one thing you're good at. What? How do you feel? Dude, I got eliminated. <laughs> yeah, how do you feel? Fuck you. That's how I feel. Jack may have left the league, actually. So if Jack leaves the league, because he's mad at me because I was I was being a dick about, you know, about losing yesterday. So he's like, I may he may leave the league. So can I mean mic hear me? Yeah, we can hear you perfectly. Uh so uh Eddie sucks at fantasy football. Shut your fucking bitch ass mouth, you fat fuck! I'm, I'm, Put a shirt on. We can see your man titties. Your titties are bigger than Marin's. What the fuck? I'm, th- I'm 13 and 1. You got lo- Dude, who, who's your only loss? Who's your only loss? Uh, you, and guess who beat you? Who beat you by 80? Who beat you by 80? Who beat you later on when it counted? Doesn't matter. I still beat you by 80. 
and I still beat you. I beat you, it. dude. You still weigh more than that. Guess we'll, guess we will never see. Guess who we can see in a fifty-five thousand mile an hour fucking radius? And guess we won't see me and you again because you're out of the playoffs, huh? Well, if Jack doesn't, if Jack quits, then I'm in, and I'm playing you. And I'm gonna fucking beat you, bro. I'm gonna beat you so bad that you're gonna have to join Weight Watchers just to catch up to me, you fat fuck. What about Tyree Kill? I'm gonna have him, you know, beat your kids. Yeah, but the thing is, he's on my team, not yours. Yeah, I should have traded for him. But yeah, here's the thing, bro. Hopefully, hopefully he doesn't. Well, you know what, bro? I mean, I still can beat you, bro. I may beat you. I'm, you know what? I may beat you. You're not going to beat me. I may not even be in the fucking playoff. I know. That's why I know you're not going to beat me. And if I'm in the playoffs and I beat you, what do I get? Um, I will give you one dollar. You cheap ass fucking Jew. You won't give me any money. You wanted $20 for Tyreek, and I was literally considering it. This I man was like, yo, cash out me 20 for Tyreek. I'm like, you know what? I was, con- I was considering it. I'm in a free league. We're not even in a fucking paid league, bro. Dude, I should be stressing out more about my fucking... on the podcast, 50 bucks. Dude, I should have been stressing out about my fucking $1,200 league, bro. $1,200, and I'm worried about a fucking free league. for Tyreek Hill. What are you, are you, you going to use it for Weight Watchers or are you just going to chow down on more fucking big match, you fat ass? You fat fuck. I'll get a I hope you get congestive heart failure and die, you fucking asshole. Hopefully I win the playoffs before that. Yeah, hopefully you do because, you know, you know the, at the rate you're going, you won't make it till next week. You won't make it till next week. You'll be chilling with. I'm, I'm, I, I did. I promised Dane I wouldn't say shit about his dad today, so I can't. Listen, like me and Dane, we joke about that shit, but I, I, I promise him. Eddie Guerrero, what, the pedophile club? No, the wrestler? Yeah, you'll, you'll fall off the balcony and hit your head and die. No. I'm going to laugh at that. S- Smooth, Smooth will be recording it on his fucking camera. Hey, how's Fuck this looking? shit! Okay. Fuck this shit! Yeah, Smooth's here. How's my bullet looking? You pedophile ass. So, so uh, okay, so now you know what? Fuck it, we're going to talk about it. So... When you texted me, I'm gonna I want I want an honest answer right now because you know what at this point, bro, fuck this shit. I'm gonna no, I don't care about cuts, this, that. When you said what's up with you and Marin, did did I am curious, did Marin ask you to ask me that? No, but she's been hitting me up about you. W- what is she saying? Because we're gonna get we're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna get into Marin a little bit later on the podcast, but on, I tried playing it off. Hold on, how do I share screen? You can share screen on here. You can just go to you gotta watch you go to the, the, the third okay, one. I'll just read it off to you, okay? Just just share your screen. You can share your screen. I don't care. I don't know how. You go to the you go to the, the camera and you go to the third one down. Hopefully your fat fingers can fucking reach it. Um uh, press the tap button and go to go to go to sh- screen share instead of watch together. Uh camera? No. No, that's the mic, and then go to the one that has the two little squares. You know the one that the ones that are shaped like your fucking watch together? Yeah. Like, and and then go to see and then go on the bottom. It says watch and screen share. Go to screen share. I don't see it. Dude, fucking okay, face. Better. Just fucking face Tommy regular. I'll face Tommy. I'm on DND. Fucking dumbass, bro. We're gonna get into some Marin drama too. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be television right here. This is gonna be television, bro. Smooth knows who Marin is. Hey, get your fat ass out. Look at this fat ass, bro. I'm with Ziggy, the guy that that guy that's in the play, the guy you're playing in the first round. What's up, man? You're going down, bitch. Dude, this dude, your matchup alone just exceeds like every fucking weight limit known to fucking man. No offense, Ziggy. I know you sit on me right now if you weren't loving me so much. It's our lovers bond yeah. and our Jerry Bonds and that James Bond and it shake me up and that dope call me that James. Well, I couldn't sleep because you weren't there because now you're never there. So what the fuck is up? Running out of love, running out of time. Think of you as mine. Fuck that. Take the 45 and buck back. You was always digging this strings attached, getting over you violently. You said you like the side of me. You fucking lie to me. Please, bitch, don't cry to me. Undone a lot for me. But the best I did was meeting you. Now, if that's the truth, then the worst yeah. thing was leaving me for some disease. Don't break your knees from sucking me. Now you're overseas. You were always the queen. Just let me be. Mm. I just went off. That was his verse. Mm. I can read. You didn't finish high school, you fat fuck. Mm. I did finish high school. Yeah, you were the homecoming king. Yeah. Because everyone felt bad for your fat ass, bro. Look at you, smooth, smooth. Probably gonna laugh when I say, "Remember Matt Daddy, the homecoming king? That autistic fuck. Fifteen bodies. 
I miss daddy though. I miss I miss now Matt Daddy. I miss you, bro. But I was I, I was with the I was with my sneaky link, bro. And Matt Daddy saw us together, and this girl was so Shout scared. Out Matt Daddy. Any idea why Eddie's been ignoring me for a week? He won't talk to me. He's practically ignoring me as well. He hasn't talked to him. Oh my, bro, this is drama. Bro, we need to hire like Morgan Morgan Freeman to like read this. Okay, okay, okay. He has been practically ignoring me as well. He hasn't talked to you. I kind of pinpointed him in our lives, so he had to talk to me. But I don't know what his problem is. He's posting all over and texting in the group chat, but he literally hasn't answered me in a week. Dude, I haven't even opened her fucking message. Wait, hold up. Let me go all the way down. I, yeah, no, I, I, I do. Look, look, she's still on. Oh, she's. I still haven't even opened our chat, bro. All right. I snapped in two in DM. Yeah, I don't know what his issue is. I don't know what to do. Like, he's my best friend and I'm really like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> you're my best friend. Ooh, you make me live now, honey. Like you'll add her to the call. It's like just like Dr. Phil. <laughs> Ziggy, you want to know what Jack said about your girlfriend? <laughs> no, nah, I can't do Jack dirty like that. Like my girlfriend? He said something about your girl. I laughed so hard, not gonna lie. He said, I don't know what the fuck he was trying to mean by that, but fuck, bro. That sounds like a retarded ass statement. Jack's dick's so small, he pees on his balls, bro. Ah, Jack, bro, you better join the back of the damn league. Bro, bro this, this man's coming at my girl when I've never even met this buddy. You mean he's like a few, he's like literally like upstairs, like literally the, the room upstairs. He's literally I'm surprised, he's so fat, I'm surprised the roof didn't cave in. Damn, Jack. Gordy Rattler, the podcast. Shut your fat ass up, Gordy. Man, Gordy can't do shit, bro. This is my episode. Bro, what's Jack's hey, name? Jack's no, Jack's never had a girl. <laughs> Eddie's talking trash. Right, Eddie? What? This may be your show, but this is my episode. This is not your episode. This is the Ziggy Nash episode, actually. This is the Do the Day and Night Shaker episode. Do the Thug Shaker, you fat ass. That's the point of the Day and Night Shaker. You can, can, can you do the Thug Shaker right now? On Kim? Yeah, you can do the thug shaker. Nah, thug do the shaker. thug shaker, you fucking bitch. No, I'm not doing the thug shaker. So I want to go off on every... So so Marin literally has been hitting you up about me. Yeah. Either A, she really cares about me, or B, she... I don't know. I mean, she messaged me about you with the... Uh, uh, accident. Yeah, I know about that. that. Yeah. You don't even know how to say accident. That's how I know you didn't graduate high school. I didn't want to... Everyone knows about my accident, bro. I peed my pants. I know. Everyone. He pooped his pants. I pooped my no, I, yeah, I pooped my pants. I sharted. And ejaculated. And yeah. <laughs> Ziggy's just looking at you like what are, Ziggy's looking at you like this is a guy we really lost the fantasy league to this year. <laughs> Smith's 13 and 1, bro. Like what the fuck? I'm uh, I'm Nelson or not Nelson. Nelson Mandela. Remember the World of Warcraft episode of South Park, the fat guy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's like the yeah, he's like the guy from the the World of Warcraft episode, the fat guy on the computer screen. With the fucking wrist, the wrist, uh, yeah, yeah fucking wrist brings. He looks just like him, bro. Like brushing off the fucking Oreos off his stomach. <laughs> yeah, he's fat ass, bro. I told you, bro. Three of the fu- dude. So I was crying to my mom about this shit last night. I was in the I was in her room and I was like, "Look, mom. So we got all these people in the league. Marin, I don't know what the fuck's up." Um, let's see. Uh, B Dev is just a fat autistic kid. Ziggy, I actually like, but you know, Ziggy's just another fucking asshole. Oh, fucking beat me twice. Ziggy's a fucking ass. Ziggy, you're a fucking ass. You beat me twice. Dane had to deliberately not accept the Kelsey trade and put in his starters to fuck me over after all I did for him. <laughs> that fatherless. Oh, I, I can't. I, I, again, Ziggy. I mean, Dane. I, I promise I wouldn't say anything about your dad today. Um, Jack. It's just a fat fuck. Steven. Where the fuck Steven been all year, bro? He's been more inactive than our. Uh, than than. Terrence? That's Steven. So 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 Terrence. So if, if you don't know about the Terrence story, I used to make prank calls to TV shows. So there is this Indian show. That we called into, and I used my name as Terrence because I showed a black dick, and of course Terrence was the first black name I could think was of. Phil up 
No, no, different Terrence. So I was like, Terrence. So I put Terrence in and I showed, I shared my screen. And it was just a black dick just jerking off. And the guy cuts the screen off. He goes, oh, very bad, Terrence. What are you doing? And that's how Steven started. Steven put Terrence in. It's just Wait, the- can I be Philip? Philip's the most gayest name ever. But yeah, I mean, you are a homo. No, like from Terrence and Philip. I know, you Canadian fuck. Hey. You've been to Canada. I haven't. I know. I'm stuck in Canada all the time. Yeah. No, nah, but uh. Blame Canada. Blame Canada. And then of course we got we got uh, ma- uh mafia. Ma- I said something funny as hell last, and I can't say it on the podcast. Mafia, you're just it literally is the league's worst defense. Mafia, lit- you know, I just realized we have we have literally every like diversity we can think of. We have a black guy. We have a Jew. We have an Italian. We have another Jew. We have a fat kid. We have... I don't even know what the fuck Ziggy is. Ziggy's just on a whole other planet. Disabled. I'm just Swanson of the group. Yeah, because you can't even stand up on your own two feet. You're, you're Mark Goldman. No, Maren's <laughs> Mark Goldman. Yeah. Maren's, yeah. Maren's the full-blown Jew. No, Maren's the woman. No, Maren's the woman. She's a woman. At least Maren's I hope she's a woman. I hope she's a girl. I mean... This whole time I would have been... Uh, fuck Kirk Turbo. Kirk Turbo. Dude, she wins the league. I'm going to cry. Yeah, I wanted the final to be me and her so badly. That would have been the greatest final. No, nope. instead on the trophy, it's going to say, my ball, Zach Ertz. We're going to need a bigger trophy for your fat ass to even grip. Yeah! Is that the sound you make whenever you have a fucking hernia, fat ass? No, I had a guineal hernia. Fat ass, bro. I hope you lose your next wrestling. Dude, I bet money on this motherfucker. To win on a on a scripted fight. How do you, you know, I tried to script the fantasy league, right? I tried to really script it to, to play you in the first oh, round. I lost on purpose last week because of that. Why do you think I didn't put a kicker Eddie, in last Eddie, week? Eddie, 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 look at me. I wanted to play you the first round, not Marin. I wanted to play you, not her. This man's playing with his fucking finger in his mouth, bro. So yeah, so so back to the whole Marin thing. Now, I guess I guess we have to talk about it for a second. And uh, smooth, respectfully, if you have to cut, if, if I've never asked you to cut things out, you may have to cut this out because this could get kind of dramatistic. Yeah, cut out our conversation too about the uh... what. This man's still on the yeah. B Dev, you don't you have work? You have a job? Not right now. I'm off. Of course, you fat ass. All right, Thursday through Sunday. Ooh. Give me Tyreek if I make the playoffs. 20 uh, bucks. You got me fucked up. $1,200. Cash up. I mean, every, I mean, $1 for every pound this man actually weighs, so I mean... No, that's every pound I need surgically removed. What are you talking about? You're so fucking I'm like, fat. I'm like 2,000. You're fucking ton, bro. My body count crazy. It's over two thousand. Yeah, I mean, you're the same one. When I, you're the same. Whenever I start talking to a girl, you're like, you know, this body count's two fifty. I'm like, my body count's actually not two fifty. You can literally look at you. Uh, you can literally ask Smooth. When I was in the studio, I said it was. It, it feels like two fifty, but I said over, and I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll just keep it at over. It sounds kind of funny. Eddie, I need some controversy. Eddie, I remixed your song to my needs. My body weight crazy. It's over two fifty. <laughs> Ziggy laughing because he knows he's in that situation too. I ain't over two fifty. Hey, I'm two. Hey, I'm two. I'm, two one, I'm 150. I'm 210. No, you're not. You're 200. I'm not 200 pounds, bro. I'm 150. I'm that, that chubby cheek says different. I have chubby cheeks. Big deal. I mean, I have a skinny body. I'm actually pretty skinny. Like Ziggy can bounce. Like I'm skinny. Cheeks. Like yeah, I'm pretty skinny. Right, chubby cheeks. Dude, you dude, chubby you look cheeks. like Does that dude. Make me 150? Dude, you look like a dude, you look like a fucking balloon, man. Who is this kid? <laughs> this is the kid we're losing our fan. This is the kid we lost our fucking fantasy league to. Oh my god! Me screaming is just funny as hell. This fucking I was kid. fucking pissed, bro. So let's get into everybody that I hate now. Jack, you beat me. I should have put in McPherson, and I said no. I hope you have kids and he beats your kids. Oh, first things first, you have to find somebody that will willing to fuck you, but I doubt that, so you're going to have to Gordy Rattler your way into hey, raping I told somebody. you, my body count crazy. It's over 250. How many of them were consensual, though? 250. Non-consensual. 
Notice I said it's over 250. Yeah, none of them can send it. You slipped something in it. You you went, you were like, hey, 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 it's fat P-Dev. It's fat P-Dev. It's fat P-Dev. It's fat P-Dev. Let me slip that thing in your drink. All right, no, we're not doing the accusations today. Okay, Deshaun Watson. Hey. Hey. The Browns are better than the Jaguars. Shut up. We didn't have Christian Kirk, okay? We didn't. We had a fucking last-minute signing quarterback. We don't have our best running back. Amari Cooper, I'm pretty sure. You're a out. Browns fan? Yeah. You're, you told me you were a Jags fan. I like them both. You like brown Jags? Yeah. Put a little, uh, switch the J with an F, and that's what I think you'd be getting dicked down with every night. Oh, that, you, you fantasize about that, bro. No, I don't. And I'm not gay. We were just talking about before how I don't have gay thoughts. You weren't on the podcast at that point. But you know what, BDF? Um, so, yes, yeah, so I, I wanted to clarify. So, Marin did hit you up and blew your phone up about me? I don't know. I saw the messages, so you can just literally just say yes. I don't know. I saw the messages. You literally showed me. You literally showed me. I ain't no snitch. Yeah, and don't tell her that we're talking about her on the podcast today because if we cut this shit out, then I'm not trying to like... Yeah, make sure we cut everything out, okay? I don't think Smooth's going to do that. Where the fuck is Smooth anyway? Smooth, cut this shit out! We really lost to this kid in fantasy. Between him and Jack? Like, how the fuck did we lose? How the fuck, bro? Marin, I can understand, because Marin actually is like, she's fucking crazy when it comes to fantasy. I can understand. So am I. I'm the top seed. I hope you lose. I hope Ziggy beats you, bro. If Ziggy beats you in the first, if if I'm not in the playoffs and Ziggy beats you in the first round. I am the Alabama Crimson Tide of this fantasy league. They barely made the fucking CPF, you fucking CFP, you fucking dumbass. You can't even say it correctly. Dude, I can smell your fucking breath from here, you fat fuck. Stop eating the fucking uh, bugles. No, it's pork rinds. Yeah, yeah, pork rinds. This man FaceTime me at four in the morning eating pork rinds. I'm like, bro, just give me Tyreek already, bro. I'm half asleep. You like, like pork rinds. <laughs> I'm like, give me, give me Tyreek already, you fucking asshole. All right, well, B Dev, I want to thank you for being on the show. You know, you exceeded the weight limit on this podcast. Stop licking your phone, you fucking dumbass. You left. So that's who we lost our fantasy league to this year. 13 and 1. This man, this man lost one game to yours truly by 80. By 80. I think all of his wins, like his closest wins combined, like don't even match up to like that. Like that's really crazy. I know. We really lost our fantasy league to him. I can't believe she fucking started texting me. So I, I don't want to like go off because I feel like it, I, I feel like me running away from the issue of not talking to her. I mean, for once, I actually for, like in the beginning, I actually like didn't even see the message because I had like my phone on DND because I got so many messages. And it's just like, especially during like the whole accident thing, it was like that. So my thing, though, was that. um. I, it, it was just, I don't even know if I really want to be talking about it on a podcast. Cause like the thing is that like now I'm starting to like purposely ignore, which is kind of true. Like, why am I ignoring? You? I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of ignoring you now. I'm like kind of ghosting you, but like, I don't know if I'm, if it's a dick move to talk about it on a podcast or just talk to her about it. Like, I mean, I don't want to talk to her about it cause I know it's just going to cause more stress and I don't want more stress. Like that's the thing. Like when I have people in my life that it, like bring me stress, you know, I try my best not to like associate with the stress no more. You know what I mean? Like if like if there's like a situation where I feel like I'm gonna be overthinking a stress, like we were talking about with music, like just walk away from it because like at the end of the day, it's like, you know, hey, you know, you're in that situation. Let's just walk away. Let me be better. Cause I was fine the whole week. The only time I only got stressed out was because of that and just fantasy and football. You know, like the, everything else was like lit ass week, went out, had fun, had did two podcast episodes this week like holy shit and then of course you know the whole jags thing when trevor got hurt i was fucking livid i was crying bro i don't know if you want my live stream for that i was but you need to well, i was hysterically crying bro i was like because everyone because you have to admit when you first saw that you think he broke his leg you think oh, i thought he was done i thought it was over bro dude i was hysterical crying i was hysterical bro i was hold on let me find this shit i was like Dude, the fact that he played, bro, look. This was literally me, bro. Fucking broke his leg, bro. 
I was hysterical, bro. It broke his fucking, <laughs> fucking, I was hysterically crying, bro. Like, I ripped my Jags flag off my wall. I'm like, fuck this shit, bro. Like, we can never have anything fucking happy in life. Because that's the thing, like, my whole, like, when it comes to football season, and I, and, and Smooth can vouch, and my boy Mix, uh, not Mix, but I might say Mix by Smooth, uh, Music by Fortune, um, can vouch like when it's football season i'm all for the jags like all year long like it's just all i think about is like this and this and this and like when it comes to the jags like last year especially like when as soon as i got clean the jags started doing good like like as soon as i got out the the er um when uh you know the whole od happened um Jags beat the Raiders. Then they lost the following week. It was close to Kansas City. I'm like, okay, word. Then they came back. They beat the Ravens. Then they lost to the Lions. But then they went on that big streak. Tennessee, Dallas, New York, Houston, uh, and then Tennessee again. And then, of course, the Chargers game. And then, of course, they lost. But then, And then this year, too, they were going crazy. So, you know, especially last year during that streak, I got sober. I was like, I need something that's going to distract me from wanting to relapse. Cause you know, especially at that time when you're in your first few weeks, first month, two months, you're going to want to like relapse so badly that the Jags basically saved me. Cause it was like, I can't hang out with my old friends. Cause they were a distraction. I couldldn't really go out yet because it was like, I have to adapt. I need something to fall back on. And that's literally what, um, literally what I did. I just said straight up, I'm like, yo, like, let me, let me go for the Jags and they're winning. Holy shit. Like, this is, this is a great moment. This is a great feeling to have. And I was like, shit, that's what really made me happy last year. And that's why I kept going with it. Like, off season this, this, because I always was diehard Jags, but now it's like even more because of it, you know? But, back to like, this whole thing, it's like, you know, I try to get rid of all my stresses in my life. I mean, yeah, there's going to be bumps and roads with football team. You can't control that. Things that, that are in my power, I can control. I'm trying to, like, avoid. Like, if it's a friend, even family members I've cut off. Like, I've just ghosted. Don't even talk to them anymore. They try to contact me, and I'm just— And people in my—even in my family, too, they're like, you should really talk to them again. I'm like, why do I need the stress? Why do I need the the added dilemma in my life to where it could be— one little thing could set me over the edge and I'm like, shit, I'm considering relapsing, considering all this other shit again. I'm like, I can't have that. I need to be, and I get it, there's going to be times where I'm going to be tested. But if I don't put myself in that position, I'm good. But if it's like, this sort of happens, you can't control it. That's life's test. But I try to avoid it at all costs. So this situation, it's kind of stressful, you know, it's, and I don't, I don't need it. You know, I really don't want to put up with it anymore. I've seen a lot of red flags, you know, the last few months. Um, um, and I feel like some of it has to do with maybe sneakiness. I mean, part of it maybe just, and I, I get it. People don't understand. People are not, people are not mind readers. So they're not going to know when something's done and you don't have to communicate. I get that. But like, whether you do that and they make excuses for it or you do it and it just feels deliberate. Like, what the fuck? Like, why am I going to sit here and have to be stressed out and overthink all this shit when I could be out doing other things, being myself, having fun, you know? Like, I don't need that shit, you know? Like, fuck it. Like, respectfully, though, like, I get it. Like, you're a good person. You know, you've been nice to me. But when I see red flags especially nowadays with all the shit that I've been through, I tend to break off more easily than be attached more because it's like, you know, I'm not trying to fuck up my life again, you know? Like I say, Smooth knows me when I was in that phase. Family knows me. A lot of people knew me. I was I was not me. I'm not who I am now. I was an asshole. I was a dick. I was depressed. I was, you know, doing things that was hurting me rather than this fun shit that I'm doing. Like, yeah, uh -huh. I'm, I'm losing in a fantasy league. <laughs> Fucking hate it. It's the worst feeling in the world. <clears throat> fuck this shit. But at the end of the day, you guys are still my boys. Like, I'm still gonna fuck with you guys. We have fun and jokes, you know. It's stupid, it's crazy, you know. But at the end of the day, it's always gonna be, you know, fun and games. It's fun. Like, But I don't want to have to deal with, you know, 
bullshit, you know? So, yeah, like, that's why I kind of just, like, drifted off a little bit. Because I'm just like, you know what? It was always something. It was always, even if it was the littlest thing, the littlest things sometimes set me off. And I'm just like, don't eat it. You know what I mean? And everyone knows, like, I always had a lot of love for this person. And low-key, everyone knows I caught feelings. But it's just like, what the, what the fuck? Like, am I going to just sit here and keep beating a dead horse up? Or just, you know... Just walk away. I don't have to deal with the more conflict, you know? It's crazy. You know, I, I hate it, but it's some, it's some... Damn, I might never open up on a podcast like this. Like, you, you got what I mean, though. Yeah, no, I, I feel that. Like, what do you think about that? Like, I mean... It's just like... It comes to a point where it's like, you got to do what's best for you. Yeah. And like, yeah, you might care about the other person. They might care about you, but it's like... If they're dragging you down, like Even if it's not intentional, that's it's still yeah, me like down. it's like you know, I, I, I you know, so I feel like some of it's not intentional, you know, because I feel like genuinely shit's going on too, and it's just like, you know, I get it, and it's just like, it hurts because I don't want to see them suffer too, because you know, I'm a caring guy, you know, guys, I actually give a fuck about people. I'm not a selfish ass prick like I put myself out to be sometimes, but like. You know, when I when I when I look at it, I'm just like, do I ignore and and feel like, hey, you know what? If I ignore, I feel less tension, you know. If I'm in that situation, I just drag myself right back down to that position. It's like I'm higher up. And then like right after, it's just like, you know, boom, I'm right back to, you know, square one. It's just like I don't like it, you know, I just don't that's why I really like I don't be doing like things no more. I try to, like, stay to myself, you know. When it comes to, like, music and shit, I hang out with all my boys. I talk to people a lot. I mean, I have a lot of friends still. You know, I, I cut off, like, 95% of my friends, but I had, like, thousands of people that I was talking to every day, you know. Like, even, like, even, like when I was talking, like, you think I blow up this group chat and fantasy chat, that's nothing compared to, like, the 12 other leagues I'm in that I'm always blowing that shit up. I'm always texting. I'm always boom, 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 like, at least 12 hours a day, just nonstop texting people. Always talking, communicating, doing things. It's always a constant, you know, communication thing with me. Because I'm always talking. So, like, when I don't get a text back right away, or I have to wait hours for a text, it feels like days for me because it's like, shit, like, I'm, I'm into that whole talking, communication thing. And then when I'm like, and then when I make plans with somebody and they cut off your plans, that shit pisses me off because, again... <clears throat> I could have been doing a whole lot of other things. I could have been going out here doing this. I could have been doing this. Could have been doing a podcast. Could have been going to a game, a show, a dinner, this, that. Could have been doing anything. But I cut my plans off to be with you, hang out with you. And you just don't even hit me back up. Don't even do this, that. And I don't get nothing in return. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, Because I know what's going to happen. As soon as I say I make other plans... Then that person will text me back and be like, okay, I'm ready to hang out now. My bad. I was just delayed with something. And then I got to tell the other person, hey, I can't hang out. So it's so much additional stress that, you know, look, I'm, it's not my fault that my brain overthinks shit. You're going to overthink shit. And it's like, what do I do? Like, it's, I just need more easiness. Like when we said, oh, we're going to be on the podcast. We did it. We're good. I get people's schedule mixes up. But when it's a constant, you know, pattern, when I see patterns, it's just not right. And then even just, like, sneaky shit, too. Like, uh, when I'm asked, you know, oh, like, I'm scrolling up on messages, and I'm like, I see a message. It's like, oh, view this real quick. And I try to view it, even though it's been that. And I realize I've been blocked from viewing the story uh, stories altogether. Why would you do that to me? Why would, it, And it's not like, oh, my finger slipped or something. You can't. No, you go. I know Instagram like the back of my hand. You go in, you press the three dots, you look and you say, oh, view, and then block from viewing story. You have to do a whole process for that. So it wasn't by accident. You do that. So when all that shit happens, that makes me get all pissed off. I'm like, why the fuck are you doing that? You're supposed to be cool with me. And people are doing that to me. And I'm sitting here like, why are people doing that to me? And it's like, they're they're being sneaky now with me. It's like... Yeah. And it's like, how the fuck am I supposed to do that? And then, again, 
all this other shit. And then, but I'm like, oh, I'm supposed to be with you. You were supposed to hang out. And then you're hanging out with somebody else. And I'm like, we had plans. Why are you hanging out with somebody else? And like, I'm, I'm not trying to be, I'm being very vague with this whole discussion now. Yeah. I feel like I'm not trying to be too out in the open with the whole issue because like, at the same time, it's like, I'm trying to give respect. I, it's the, the, the still some respect that I have for that because I'm not trying to cause more issues because if I expose everything right now on a podcast, it could get tight. You know what I mean? So it's like, if I'm sitting here just saying, you know, hey, this is that, this is this, it's whatever because at the end of the day, it, it's so annoying. I hate it. I'm like, how are you supposed to be this if we're not even that and you're not treating me like that or this, that? Like, it's, it's bullshit. Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's very interesting at the end of the day because it's like, it's supposed to be one thing then it's another and then it's like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's, like, it's, what the fuck? It's like a back and forth thing. It's so much stress and like, I get it. Like, some things like I, I we, I've agreed to, like, I get it. Like, there's some things, but I'm like, when it gets starts to get suspicious and fishy, then it's like shit. Cause look, fucking y'all remember luxury. I got fucked over so many times to where it's like, okay, now I started playing their game where it's like, okay, you think you're playing me, but I'm really playing you. But when it's like a situation where I don't want to have anyone playing anybody, cause it's like, I have enough respect for that person to where it's like, I don't want to play you. I don't, I want things to be, you know, civilized and this and that. And I feel like a little bit of sus on their part, it's kind of like, the fuck am I supposed to do here? Like, I'm not going to be put in a situation where I'm going to get, you know, used. So it's like, why am I going to do that anymore? You know, I feel, and like I said, like, I feel like some of it, it's very, you know, and, and people say, oh, I do, I feel bad. I do that. Like, you say that. You either say you either say you feel bad because you got caught, or you still want me in your life to take what you were taking advantage of me for. Yeah. And especially these times of people, because I'm not trying to go off. I'm not trying to be like Kanye right now with some stuff. But yeah, um, you know, I'm not gonna get crazy right now. I'm not, you know, like I said, smooth doing this. It's gonna be on his thing. So I'm not trying to like go crazy. Like I said, if we were on mine right now, I'd be going off. But I really would, like, respectfully, like, the smooth, like, nothing against smooth, it's just smooth be not cutting off shit. So I know when to edit out some parts of the podcast where it's just like, yeah, I don't want this in there, I don't want that in there. Cut it off. But when we live and we doing crazy shit like this, it's just like, you know, crazy. Oh, yeah, I got my doctor's appointment moved. Word, you know, because I got my, uh, because I have to get my shit done because I have the car accident. So now I'm doing all this, like, um... Crazy shit. Who's uh just made a surprise appearance? Yes, sir. <laughs> like shit, that's just crazy. Like, where, where, where? So yeah, nah, but like that's just life now. Shit's crazy. But like for real, like I'm just pissed off about this whole fantasy shit. Cause like shit, at the end of the day, this was my vision. Beating all you motherfuckers. Cause I'm goaded at fantasy. My other leagues, you can look, I'm winning in all of them. You know, I'm like maybe like a like a like I think the lowest seed I'm in in all twelve of my other leagues, it's like the three seed. And that's good. Cause I know my shit. But like, and I have like all the like, you know, like the one league where I feel like this is my best roster. Doing the worst. It's like my best roster, I'm the worst. In. Like, it's bullshit. But you know, at the end of the day, it's like, you know, what the fuck are you gonna do? Bro? I get fucked over every fucking chance I get. I get hurt, fucked over in this shit. And I uh, guess I'm not making a playoffs this year, you know. I'm, I get to sit on my couch. Don't even get to give a fuck about this bullshit no more. Fuck fantasy. You know, fuck fantasy football, all that. I'm fading away from the playoffs, man. And uh, <laughs> nah, but again, you know, before we end it, like, you know, we got our song Fading Away coming out soon. Um, it's just, uh, you know, I'm just figuring out a date and you got to figure out, you know, album cover pictures. Um and we're dropping the song. Great song. Love it. Uh, can't wait for it. Um, we're going to be really crazy with the promotion of this music video and everything. And uh, I feel like it's one of my best songs. I mean, like I said, Fading Away. And like I said, it's a controversial uh, take, especially for me out of all people. Fading Away is everything blaming myself should have been. And 
I stand by that when it comes to the song, the lyrics, the feature, um, everything about it just tops it. So yeah, so that's dropping soon. So again, and of course we're going to have Ziggy on more. We're going to do an actual, we're going to have a professional interview with him. We're just going to have him on to fuck around some more. We're going to have, Hopefully we get Joey Gerbs on an episode two. We got to get him on. I haven't seen that man since fucking Manalapin. Uh, just get everything popping. Get it right. You know, Eddie Clutch and Ziggy on the fucking podcast getting crazy with it. Um, but yeah, nah. So glad to have you on just to fuck around, you know. Have me vent over fucking fantasy football and other shit. Man's choking on, man's choking on B-Dev's dick in the first round, hopefully. Hopefully he gets it. Now, now, I got, now I got to root for B-Dev because he got me out. Man's choking on, man's choking on nut, bro. For real, bro. On some weird shit. Nah, for real. But yeah, but like I said, bro, I hope y'all had a great time listening to the podcast. A little different today. Just, you know, fucking trying to have fun with it. You know, but shit's, you know, trying not to get canceled right away. You know, what are you going to do? Hey, guys. Hey, it's your boy, Clutch. Clutch, Clutch on podcast. podcast. My, My boy, Ziggy Nash. Clutch time. We out.